Fall officially kicks off in just a few days, but fall farming will look different this year because of our continued warm temperatures. What does it mean at your favorite farmer's market? You may not find what you're looking for when you're looking for it. Our Tara Molina spent the day at an urban farm in Englewood. I'm told these warmer temperatures mean some of the summer fruits and veggies we love, like strawberries and tomatoes, could be at our markets longer. But these temperatures also mean some of what you're looking for could be delayed. The longer and longer we go without frost, the greater these will grow. A longer harvest this season here at Growing Home. So ripening here. An urban farm and workforce development center running in Englewood from February to November. We're growing about 35,000 pounds of food. Ezra Lee is the farms and program manager, telling me this hot and dry September means tomatoes, strawberries and peppers on your plate for a longer period of time. We had a little bit of delay in getting some spinach in. But for leafy greens, these hardy greens that we like to eat and like to grow um, are really cold loving plants. So they like cool weather. This kind of dry and warm spell this time of the year usually means that harvest begins a little bit earlier. Trent Ford is the Illinois State climatologist. This is a complicated time for row crops and looking at larger crop farms outside the city. Now this warm and dry spell has shifted that earlier. So people are having to get their equipment ready and maybe go through the steps of pre harvest a little bit faster than they'd like to. Ford telling me climate change will continue to drive warmer temperatures, meaning warmer Septembers like this one could be here to stay. It does feel more like August and September. If we change kind of what we're able to grow in different seasons, we change foods that are familiar for people. We change seasonal expectations about what we're eating. With warmer weather like this expected to continue for years to come, I'm told we'll very likely see a continued impact on harvest schedules. For more information on all of this, head to the story that's up on our website right now. Reporting in Englewood, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News, Chicago.